let us look at the common master data in SAP SD. So the topics we will be covering today they are common master data for distribution channel, common master data for the division. Let us start with a business example. If you do not need the master data, customer material and condition master data to be differentiated according to the distribution channel, you have to set up a representative distribution channel. The master data for the rep distribution channel applies to all the distribution channel for which you have set up this reference in customizing. Now what that means is, for example, we have seen that like when we create the pricing, so in the previous videos you have seen that you go to VK11 transaction and here you maintain the pricing. So, But when you maintain the pricing say PR00 and here what you do is you maintain it for a distribution channel 10. But what if for example, for example I'm creating a record for uh, say sales organization, sales org thousand uh, distribution channel say 10 and customer ID is 301623. Now what if we are in my company we are using maybe uh, more than one distribution channel. So for example if I created this record then if we got more than one distribution channel in my company say next one can be 12 and uh, there can be another one say 14 can be a fourth one say 16 and so on that means there are more than one one distribution channel and or could be division as well but in that case what we need to do is to we need to maintain the pricing for each distribution channel so we need to go to the VK11 uh, transaction every time so first I'll create it for 10 distribution channel then I'll do the same for say 12 and then I'll do the same for 14 and so on <coughs> So, so this means that um, that either we can create the same record. That means uh, just a repetition of work. We can create the same record for all the distribution channel, or we got an option in SAP that will allow us to create one master like a rep data as a as a reference data that can be used for all other distribution channel. What I mean is if I just maintain it for distribution channel set 10 then it will be copied to all the other distribution channel. That means I do not need to maintain for each and every distribution channel. It will be automatically be copied to the other distribution channel or can be used by the other distribution channel not really copy. So that is known as the reference master data. So let us re read this business example again and then we'll continue. So if you do not need to need the master data, customer material and condition pricing to be differentiated according to the distribution channel, you have to set up a rep distribution channel. The master data for the rep distribution channel applies to all the distribution channel for which you have set up this reference in customizing. <coughs> Common master data for distribution channel. So as I just explained <clears throat> that what you can do is you can you can create say for example in this case I can in the customizing I can maintain the distribution channel 12 as a rep so that can say okay if 12 is a rep it can be copied to say 14 so if I maintain the data for say only 1012 that can also be used by 1014 distribution channel. So that is for material master, same goes for the condition master. So there are two different things, one is pricing, one is customer and material master. I'll come back to this one in a minute. So the one that I was talking about earlier, I was talking about the pricing only. So same thing if you can maintain the, the pricing or the condition record for this distribution channel uh, and sales org, then that can also be used by other if we maintain 12 as a rep. Now one thing you, where you can maintain is in the condition which is a pricing or you can also do the same for the customer master record and the material master record. So if you remember that we use um, we use say MM01 transaction to create or any any material say I'll say I'll, I'll create an XXX material
So here when you create it, you need to select a distribution channel. So I can say, okay, if I create for distribution channel 10, it should be used by the other distribution channel for the material master as well. And same goes for the customer master. So when you create a, a material a, a customer, so you need to enter a distribution channel here. So again, I can make say 10 as a ref one and it can be used by the other distribution channel as well, which I will allow in the customizing. So now I'm going to show you how you can customize. So basically this is a customizing transaction. We haven't yet started the customizing and we'll start the customizing soon after a couple of videos. But for now, I just want to show you where this part is, but do not change anything for now unless we start the customizing part. So the transaction code is, um, so the transaction code is VOR1. VOR1 is a transaction code for the uh, common master data maintenance in the customizing for distribution channel. So if I open VOR1, so here you can see there's so many sales organization we have here, for example. But if I show you, say, one example, so if I click on position, so jump to thousand number sales organization, and say if I pick something, for example, here. So here you can see this this part is the condition this box is for the condition so this can be a reference for example here my reference is 01 that means 01 is a reference for distribution channel 30 01 is a reference for the distribution channel 90 and so on so I can maintain 01 as a as a reference for either 30 90 or others as well so I need to make one more entry here so I'm not going to do the entry at, at this stage but I just want to show you that here you can see all the setup we have so that means if you see look at these two entries only so you can see that 01 is a reference for distribution channel uh, 30 and 90 as well that means if you maintain 01 master record at 01 distribution level for pricing that will be used by 30 and 90 so we do not need to maintain separately for 30 and 90 30 and 90 can copy from 01 this is for the condition master record also you can press f1 here and you can read through this one and you can see this example just go through this 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 uh, explanation here and also go through this uh, example so that you can better understand and same goes for this one which is the for custom material so as i just said that not only you can maintain it for um, you can maintain it for condition which is pricing but also you can maintain it for customer and material master record so let's see this one this one is a for customer material master same thing like I said before zero one is a reference only in the case of customer material master data not pricing this one zero one is a reference for again 30 again zero one is a reference for 90 so you can have say maybe you know something else here you can have 10 here for example 10 10 and 10 and you can say that means 10 is a reference for 30 and 10, 10 is a reference for 90 so I will not change anything please do not change anything at this stage in the customizing data because once we we'll start customizing then I will show you what to change how to change so that you no, no, do not messing up with the uh, standard SAP server setting so that's how you can maintain um, so VOR is a reference for distribution channel and then we got um, common master data for the division as well so same way we create the reference data for distribution channel same thing goes for um, division as well so that means you can maintain a reference of 00, zero division as, as, a, as a reference and that data can be used by other like 01 and all that so again we'll, we'll sh show you this one as well again remember that this is only valid for customer because when you create the you can see here we in the screenshot we got only customer here and pricing here not the material master data because when you create the material master you only enter the distribution channel and not the division that is why so if you go to VOR2 transaction so I can go to slash and VOR2 transaction same thing but here it's talking about say the same thing again here for example if you look at um, this combination there's a lot of them so 00 is the reference for 01 02 03 division 
so they all are division same thing for the custom master you can see there is only custom master here so zero one is the reference for condition master so again i want you to press f1 on each field here where the reference master is and go through this description and explanation same goes here press f1 and check the condition for the division so that's all for the reference condition i hope you understand that uh, the main thing you need to remember is you can maintain for for distribution channel you can maintain the reference for pricing material master record and customer however you can maintain the reference for division only in the in the case of customer and condition not material master so that's all so just a recap what we learned today so now we know that what is the common master data for distribution channel whatever data we can maintain how we can maintain it and also same data for the division so for assignment just one question i want you to answer so here's a question is common master data can be maintained for which of the following <coughs> one is condition customer sales organization output and material so you can pause the video here for a minute uh, if you want to think about the answer so once you're ready you can again continue play the video and check the answer in the next slide so the right answer is 1 2 and 5 so just compare our answer and uh, that's all for this topic thank you very much and uh, we'll continue with the next topic soon